Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about our movie app. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to start exploring the idea of adding some stars to the movie, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is just kind of show you some ideas on how you might add these. I mean, it's pretty easy just to put them in there, but what we'd like to do is create a system where someone could star or rate a movie, where they could set the rating, right? So what that'll be is maybe they can tap on a star to say this is a three-star movie or a five-star movie, or maybe they can swipe to drag across and like fill in the stars as they swipe. So they could swipe halfway and it would be three stars, right? Or they could swipe this way and it'll be two stars, right? Okay, so um, to create that kind of UI element, we should do a little bit of experimenting because there's a couple routes you can take with this, right? Why don't we get started and look at a few ideas? I'm going to um, make some space here in Storyboard and then grab a new view controller and I'll drag it out here. I'm just gonna set it up in this video. So I'll drag a new view controller there. And for experimentation, uh, you know, I don't wanna have to navigate to this view controller for testing all the time. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to the, the property inspector here under view controller and I'll check the box that says is initial view controller. And that should give this the little arrow Okay, so that means when my movie begins when I or when I test my app, it will begin here um, on this view controller, right? So we can just bypass everything else we've done. And then we can set, we can set this back over to the, uh, the navigation controller over here later and, um, and then that can be the beginning of the app later. Okay, but for right now, we'll, we'll put it here. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this, right? Um, one way to create the stars might be to use a UI label Right, so I'll drag a label out here. And um, what we can do in the label is we can use an emoji to create a star. So I'll go to the edit menu and choose emojis and symbols. And um, you can see I've got the star here. I got the poop. I can, you know, I can make it a poop or a star. Um, let's go get that again. There's actually a couple stars in there. I got the gold star here. Um, there's a black one and a um, sort of an outlined star somewhere in here, and I can't find it right now. Um, let me see if I can find it somewhere down in here. Um, uh, not there, let's see here. Uh, oh, maybe here, oh yeah, there it is, right? So there's the black one, and um, let's try and find, there's another one in here that has an outline. Oh, there it is, right? Actually, it looks like there's a another one too, right? So there's these stars, and if you do them as emojis, you can um, change the size by setting the font size. So um, I'll just up the font size there. Let me do Command Equal to um, to make them visible again, right? So I'll bump up the font size, and now I can't see these guys because my label's not large enough to show them, right? Um, so anyway, so we could make five stars like this, right? Um, let me just, let me move this guy over here so I don't have to type that emoji. Well, actually, you know what? It'll be on the, um, on the, um, the emoji thing at the top. It shows the recent one. So, so why don't we do this? Let's, um, copy this guy and actually maybe we'll copy this one and paste it five times, right? So we could make some stars that look like this. Okay, and then, you know, we could fill these in. We could swap them with the filled in star or just add them, you know. So if the UI label displays five stars or three stars, then, you know, we would see them here in the label. Um, so that's one route, okay. Um, and using that method, um, let me make these even bigger here, right. And using this method, um, you know, we, we would be drawing the stars, at, you know, with the emoji in, in the text field, okay? So we'd have to find some way to interact with, the, with the, the UI label, right? Okay? So next, the other route we could use is we could create a button, okay? And essentially, like, interacting with the button is a lot easier. Like, the UI label isn't really made for interaction. You can interact with it, but it, it, do, it doesn't, it's not built for it. It doesn't offer up a bunch of easy methods to work with. The button, on the other hand, you know, says, tap me. You know, I'm, I'm made for tapping, right? So it's a little easier to interact with this guy. Um, and we could set the text here in the button to one of the stars. Maybe I'll go to Edit, um, Emojis, and Symbols, and I'll choose, um, I think those guys will show up here at the top. Yeah, so 
I'll choose that one. And, um, and there we go, right? Let me make the text a little bigger here. I think the other one, I think I made them about 60 points, right? Right, so I'll make a 60 point star, right? You can click on this too and set the, the font size if you want, right? Just type the number in there. So anyway, so now I've got a button. In this case, if I was using a button, what I might do is I might copy it five times like this. Right, so now I have five of these guys, right? Now, if I put the images inside the label, then, you know, since they kind of act like characters, like ABC, right? So they kind of get laid out automatically. Um, with the buttons, though, since these are individual objects, then, um, you know, I'll need to lay them out myself. And what I might recommend for these guys is to use a stack view. So a stack view is made for organizing objects, you know, in a horizontal or vertical stack. So what you might do is you might select all your text labels and um, click on the stack view here and wrap them in a stack view. Okay, so those are two routes that you might choose. And the stack view has a couple options here. Um, if you click on the stack view, um, you can see at the top here, um, it gives you some spacing. So you can set the space between the objects. And it has some other options for how it how it um, dis spreads them out and displays them. Um, but I'll leave that for you to explore, but the spacing is pretty easy to set, so we'll just kind of look at that, right? So anyway, so that's kind of two routes that we can use. And in the next video, we'll, we'll work on one of these and kind of do something with it, right? But that's how we might get started, right? And with, with the starting point here, if I, if I click Run, um, you'll see that my movie is, or my, I keep calling this a movie, but my, my app is going to start on this view controller. And there we go, right? And then I can tap on the buttons, right? Okay, so, uh, so anyway, I'll stop the video here, and then in the next video, we'll try and implement some of our ideas here.